The other day, a good friend came over. We were playing with our kids and just chit-chatting. And suddenly she remembered that she needed to order her kids school supplies because we were talking about how school is coming up really soon. And sort of glancing sideways at me because she knows I'm a productivity coach, she bashfully pulled out her handwritten to-do list. And I'm talking a full page, all right? Tasks tucked in in every corner haphazardly. And she sort of laughed nervously and said, oh, I know this isn't the best system. I know there's a better way. I just haven't done it yet. And I keep feeling like I'm ending the day not doing enough. And so I just keep on getting further behind. I see this a lot, okay? People who are smart, creative, they're trying very hard, but they still feel behind. Not because they're unmotivated, but because they are stuck using tools that were not built to support them and their workflow. And honestly, I remember being in that exact same place, knowing that something needed to change, but not having the energy to figure it out. So just pushing through with what I already had. If you're overwhelmed by your to-do list or you're stuck all day in your email inbox or you're constantly second guessing what you're gonna be working on next, then the problem isn't you, it's your system and it's the tools that you've been trying to make work. I'm Carrie Bentley, co-founder of The Life Hack Method. I have personally tested dozens of tools and coached thousands of professionals to help them find the right tools and systems for them. And today I wanna help you find yours. Here's five things that I always look for when I'm helping clients choose a task management platform. First, it must be built for task management, not just notes, not just lists, and not for all sorts of other things. Some tools call themselves productivity apps or task managers, but they're really just digital notepads. You want something that lets you assign, reassign, easily prioritize, easily complete tasks with collaboration built in. It should be simple and intuitive. If you need to take a lengthy training just to create your first task, something's off. Your tool should immediately feel like relief, not another thing to manage. Now that said, sometimes as humans, we can over-organize and over-complicate our systems, and I'll talk about how to avoid that in a moment. Third, it needs to be able to grow and change with you. So that's why the collaboration element is so important. If your side hustle becomes a real business, or your team doubles in size. You shouldn't have to start over from scratch with your task manager. It should easily adapt to your new workflow. Fourth, it should reduce noise, not create more. The best platforms help you get out of your inbox, okay, out of those Slack threads, not drown you and become get another place where you have to check for notifications. So look for tools that centralize communication at the task level. This is crucial to reducing communication overhead and work about work. So that means dozens, dozens of hours of saved time and so many saved headaches for you and your team. It should also be accessible. It should be affordable, right? You should be able to try it without pressure. So a free trial or a free version is a must. Now, picking a task manager is kind of like picking a mattress. They all essentially serve the same purpose to support you reliably day after day. So you really do not need to test 50 different tools here. You just need one that's comfortable enough that you'll actually use it consistently. Once you've got it in place, you can just stop thinking about it and stop wondering if you should switch to a different tool. You're gonna be able to get things done just like on your mattress, you sleep through the night. So with that in mind, here are my top five task managers for 2025 and who I recommend them for. ClickUp. ClickUp is a Swiss army knife. It's got time tracking, it's got screen recording, it's got a calendar sync, it's got a lot of cool features, but there is a steep learning curve here. So it's best for feature lovers and very detail-oriented users who love building systems and then maintaining those systems. Monday, this one is beautiful. It's highly visual, it's great for team collaboration, not quite as intuitive for solo professionals, but it is very strong and popular for group work. So this one is best for team leaders who want a high level view and who appreciate the visual layout of Monday. Todoist. This one has always been a popular choice because it's clean, it's minimalist, it's easy to use, it's great for habits, it's great for task lists. You are not gonna find advanced features here, and that's the point. So it's best for individuals who want a simple, no fuss solution. Microsoft Planner. 
if you are already deep in the Microsoft ecosystem, this one is for you. It plays well with Teams and Outlook, and it just does what it's supposed to do. So it's best for professionals who are in those locked in IT environments and they need to use a Microsoft tool. And finally, Asana. This is what we use to run everything at Lifehack Method from when it was just me and Demir traveling around the world to running our seven figure business with a full team today. It is so powerful. It is flexible. It is intuitive and easy to use without being overwhelming. You can build out our 531 daily plan that shows up automatically in your task list every morning. You can automate task sorting and the movement of tasks between days and weeks using rules. You can plan your entire week using our winning the week method directly inside of Asana and so much more. So this is best for people who want clarity. They want structure. They want a simple system and they do not want to overcomplicate things. So which one are you going to choose? If you want the simplest path to getting more done, definitely go with Asana. That's obviously my top choice. If you're tech savvy and you love customizing, go ahead and try ClickUp. If you lead a team, you love those visual dashboards, you could look at Monday. If you want a clean, simple checklist for solo work only, use Todoist. And if Microsoft runs your life, you can stick with Planner. Now, if Asana feels like the right fit, but you're hesitant, or maybe you've tried it, but you feel a little lost, you're not alone. Most people actually never unlock the full power of Asana because they're missing the system behind the tool. Maybe you've even poked around Asana once before and then gone back to your notebook. That doesn't mean you can't stick with Asana now. It just means no one showed you how to make it work for you. I want to invite you to check out my Asana Mastery course, where I teach you how to use the platform the Lifehack Method way. You're going to learn so much, including how we plan our week using the Winning the Week method directly in Asana, how we size our to-do list every day using our 531 rule, how to use task names as verbs so that your actions are always clear, how to automate your daily to-do list with rules, how to hand off tasks between team members without micromanaging, without sending emails, and without scheduling meetings, and so, so, so much more. You can check out the link in the description to get all the details on the course. Thanks so much for watching and let me know in the comments, what task manager do you use?